it's a cold cold day here in Konas in Lithuania and Konas is the second biggest city in Lithuania now we wanted to do something slightly different in this video where most people will go to Konas and go and explore the uh, the central part we wanted to go and explore more of the everyday life we're currently staying in this place here we're actually staying up there well those builders are working and uh, that was quite the shock this morning when we woke up I tell you we weren't ready for it we had no idea where that guy saw in there literally right outside our window that was and we woke up at 8 in the morning and uh, it was quite quite the surprise um, to all of this <laughs> yeah and we had absolutely no idea that uh, that was going to be the case so this place is called the uh, what's it called Tam? The chill and go apartment, so avoid it at all costs. Absolutely. It was terrible. Tell them, Tom. <laughs> oh, so this is the person who owns the apartment. See if we can check in early because obviously we got here a little bit early. And she was like, unfortunately, um, the apartment isn't ready yet. Mm. So I was like, all right, okay, no worries. If it is ready, before the actual check-in time could you let us know so we can go in because out is so yeah i was a bit of a numpty so i've got terrible shoes on and uh well i've got blisters the size of golf balls on the bottom of my feet um and i could barely walk so we said to her what did we what did you say yeah you messaged her, didn't so you someone says that my husband's feet you know are very sore um is there any chance that we can come in at going early when it's ready and there was no reply. Um, communication with them is absolutely poor. So we got here about one o'clock yesterday. Check-in is at four. So I so messaged them at one to see if we can do a check-in early. You know, quite happy to pay the extra if need be. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, and they was like, no, 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 because the apartment's not ready, blah, blah, blah. It took them three hours to supposedly clean the apartment um i went into a cupboard to get some cups out so I, you know bob and i could have a coffee and lo and behold they weren't clean no i opened the cupboard <laughs> door and on the bit of wood that like is in between the two doors obviously we get them at home as well there was dead flies um the mugs were manky the cutlery were manky the microwave was it's awful, manky it? yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah so obviously then Bob pulled a bowl out to put his Cepellini <laughs> yeah, <in laughs> got some Cepellini <laughs> um, just to like reheat it sort of thing and inside this bowl was also a dead fly Ooh. you can make it up honestly I've got pictures as well we'll have, have to show you now. yeah we tried Adam <laughs> but yeah we, we got in right and obviously as, as Tam just mentioned there massive golf ball sized blister on the bottom of my shoes I'm gonna have to get new ones to be honest guys you saw if you saw the video from track A <laughs> my shoe completely snapped at the bottom and just since then it's been hard to it's hard to walk on my shoe yo know, it's quite hard to walk properly and because I'm walking awkwardly I'm forming big blisters on the bottom of my feet and so as a result I'm uh, in a lot of pain and we said to them kindly please if the apartments because it's checking at 4 p.m and we arrived in Konas at uh, Konas I do apologize if that's the wrong pronunciation guys um, I'm, I'm, I'm desperate to say Kaunas but it doesn't I think it's Konas but um, we like yeah pleaded with them please if, if there's a chance to get in earlier we'll take it and uh, pay we'll pay you and extra. didn't even come back and say you know oh sorry that's not possible it really does need a good clean nothing like that just literally flat out ignored us just straight up ignored us and I was like all right cheers and then obviously the listing said nothing about a uh, oh, yeah, building about works building work or anything. so it weren't a great start in Konus but you know it is what it is man so uh yeah, we're just starting kind of trying our best now to make what we can of it but where most people go into like the tourist areas we have no interest in doing that um everyone's done that if you want to see the tourist areas of conus you literally youtube conus 
there's thousands <laughs> but uh we want to do something different we want to see, we want to explore everyday lithuanian life that's what we're interested in mm. and the reason why we're interested in that particularly is because where we live in the uk we have a big lithuanian community we don't really know much about lithuanian culture we want to know more and i don't think the i don't think the best way of doing that is going into the tourist areas personally so uh, we decided on this cold Kaunas morning, or Kaunas morning, sorry, to uh, to go and find out more about it, and uh, and just see what it's like here, and you know what, what it's like to live in a Lithuanian city. And the buildings already look completely different to what you would see in uh, you know in the tourist spots which of course is something that we're quite keen to do as well. We're quite keen to see a different slice of life here. Um, you've got these obviously wooden buildings. You've got these more traditional style buildings here. But then of course you've got the bigger, more kind of modern buildings. So Lithuania really is a country of contrasts when it comes to its buildings. And uh, it's a fantastic country. We've really enjoyed it. Um, apart from, as I say, the terrible experience of that apartment which is unfair because I don't want to be completely unfair to the guys there the, the apartment was very nice itself but for the three hours they claimed to have spent cleaning it <laughs> they certainly didn't clean it very well all I've got to say is you know I will leave it in a better state than what it oh yeah we've tidied it yeah so we've tidied it and it's tidier now than it was when we found it so uh that kind of says it all really but yeah what we're going to do is we're going to stroll around and go and explore life in Kaunas or Kaunas sorry for ourselves and see what it's like all right guys so we just found a shopping mall so we're going to go and check that out and see what the shopping mall in Lithuania is like we went to one in uh Fabio in uh in Vilnius but um yeah we're going to check out the one here in Kaunas Kaunas sorry <laughs> Sorry, it's a reflex, guys. Uh, do apo I do apologise if I get the pronunciation wrong, as I say. Do let me know in the comments what the correct pronunciation is. Obviously, as English, we read it as we see it. We, we, we will see it written with a K-A-U, and our brain will say cow. <laughs> but... Yeah, because in the English language, the A and the U together is an owl sound. Yeah, exactly. That's an owl sound, so... It's kind of like a reflex. So if I keep doing that, I apologise. But... Yeah, why are we doing this? Well, we're keen to show you the what you know what Lithuanian life is like from the eyes of a foreigner, for starters, because you may not often see that. You may not often get to explore. Ah, okay, there's the bus system. Very nice, clean buses in Konas as well. But you don't often get to see the perspective of a foreigner of what life is like in uh, Lithuania. Um, often you'll see it either from the locals' perspective or the foreigners will just be focused on the main town centre. But I'm more interested in getting to know the locals and the people that live here and learning more about the culture of Lithuania. And as I say, the old town is a great representation of fantastic architecture, buildings, and actually has a, one of the oldest, I don't know what they're called, I'll put it down below. I can't pronounce it as well, but it's a lift that goes up a hill it's got one of the oldest operational hill lifts in the uh, in in Europe. And also, another interesting fact about Konas is that it also has um, one of the biggest open air museums in the whole of Europe as well. Um, and this open air museum is dedicated to preserving the history of Lithuania. So it has traditional houses, traditional clothing, it's everything which is uh, pertinent to the life of the old times in Lithuania. And we was going to go and visit that. But for some reason unknown to me, all museums seem to be closed today on this Monday. On the Monday, everything. It's a Monday today and it's all, the, uh, all the museums are closed. We have no idea why. Also, sorry love, just quickly. If you're curious, if you see that um, walking sign there, it means that, so in the UK, if you see a zebra crossing, that means that you get right of way. But they don't really follow that in the UK. Um, quite often, you'll come to a zebra crossing and a car will try and speed up to beat you past the zebra crossing. But uh, here, 
in Lithuania they honour that zebra crossing. I don't know what you call it in Lithuania, I don't think it's a zebra crossing, but they honour it here. And as a result, if you see one of those walkways, people will stop. But in the UK they don't do that. They will try their damnedest to speed up. Sorry Tom, what were you going to say by the way love? Uh, I can't remember now. It's true though isn't it, zebra crossings mm -hmm. in the UK. It can be absolutely pouring it down and the people will do their absolute best oh, wow. to prevent you from getting past. Wow, let's have a look here then. So one thing I've noticed is it's actually quite expensive in certain parts of uh, Lithuania as well. That's not bad for 70 cents. That's pretty good for 70 cents I must admit. But I don't know, it's a kilogram I guess, that's quite good. Yeah. And then Vraz... Vrazinomis? Vrazinomis? Raisin cake I guess? Would be my guess. We may come back here later. But to be honest, we're not particularly hungry at the moment. More thirsty than anything. Um, is there a shop is there? Awesome. Let's go and check it out. But as you can see, a lovely big modern, um, a lovely big modern shopping centre, which is, you'll see a lot of them in uh, Lithuania. The modern areas are very, very modern, and the, uh, but there's still a lot of tradition and a lot of history here. You know, I've never been in an IKEA. Never been in an IKEA. IKEA. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing is, where we live in the UK, we have an IKEA nearby. Um, we have an IKEA mm -hmm. distribution centre. But we don't actually have an IKEA store. So the place that we live provides all of the stuff in IKEA, but we don't have an IKEA. So as a result, we've never been to IKEA. But let's go and get a drink. I'm absolutely parched. It's thirsty work walking around the cold air. <laughs> Breathing in that cold, freezing air. So we're currently in, uh, what month is it? October, isn't it? Really? November. <laughs> no, September. September. The last day of September. Last day of September. I'm losing my. I'm losing track of everything. Last day of September, and it's getting colder now. I think it's like what three degrees outside. I have no idea. Roughly, I don't know what it is in uh, Fahrenheit. I don't think. Do we use Fahrenheit in Europe? I don't think we do. Do we? Here we go. Bubble tea. I like bubble tea, but you see what I mean. Like things aren't very cheap. Lithuania, I found, is actually quite an expensive country. Which kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, yeah, the, pi the cost of a pint here is about the same as it is in the UK, which really came to a surprise for me. Um, so, big up to my Lithuanian brothers and sisters for, for dealing with those costs. Because a lot of my friends, right, live in England, obviously. And since I've come here, I thought to myself, why, why would you want to leave Lithuania? It's incredible. It's a beautiful country. Blue Pepsi. Blue Pepsi. Are you going to try some? No. I might have to try some. Grab it. Let's give it a go. The Pepsi Max. Okay. And I, I've often wondered to myself, like, why, why are you leaving such a beautiful country? But I kind of understand. Like, it's about a similar cost. Maybe the UK is a little bit higher, but not that much higher. And uh, from what my friends told me, the wages are quite a bit lower here than they are in the UK. So I get it, I understand. Oh, a loose. Oh, uh, oh, alcohol free. <laughs> Too early to partake. You want a pastry? Yeah. We go, we go, we go on a pastry hunt. So I had Zeppelini, uh, Zeppelini, sorry, for my, for my breakfast, which is a strange one, but there was a local store called Iki, or Iki. Shviturys. Shviturys? I've heard that's really good. Alus. Should I have an alus, guys? 6% alus. Let's have an alus. Why not? What time is it? I'll find out in a minute. I have no idea. And the wife is gone. She's done a runner. Look at that. It's like uh, when you lose your mom in a store. Oh, there she is. Uh, and you go looking for her frantically. I've heard as well there's a really nice uh, a nice alcohol called Jalgris, I think it's called. Which is the same name as the basketball team. I've not been able to find it though. Ah, here we go. Jalgris. Jalgris. Apparently that stuff is really good. Made of honey. Strength is obtained by distilling mead. That looks awesome guys, but unfortunately I don't have 40, 40 almost 40 euros on me. Uh, it's the last day of the uh, trip today and uh, we're trying to make the most of it so Asakotis 
I've not been able to find. Oh, Simios. Interesting. I wonder what the difference is. But I've not been able to find a cheap, I've only found one cheap Sarkotis. And I think I tried it in my food tour. And if I'm going to be completely honest, guys, and again, I try to keep it 100 really, guys. I never want to lie to you. I want a fan. I find it a little bit bland. Um, so if you're charging like 25 euros, it might be a touristy thing. I don't know. You have to explain to me what Sakortis actually represents. That looks nice, huh? Bandela su Vashkes Idaru. No idea what the hell that is, and I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. But yeah, go for it if you want to try that. Love looks like cottage cheese. Yeah. Just so you're aware, because I don't know if you like cottage cheese. I like cottage cheese. There you go. Look, stick with what you know. You got peak and plats there. You got panel chocolate. You may want to try something you've never tried, like whatever this is. That does look very tasty. What's it called? It's called Piragelish Lankelis. <laughs> Sorry, guys, terrible pronunciation. I've decided, time to get an Alus okay. Sviturdis. What time is it? Five o'clock. Hopefully, it's not day drinking. Five o'clock somewhere, isn't it, guys? Exactly. And as British, are known for our love of alcohol. Nearly 12. 12 o'clock, there you go. Bottoms up. I'll enjoy that after I've had my drink. But this could take a while, guys, so uh, I'm going to wait for Tam to choose her thing and we'll continue. Oh, wow, look at this. Very nice. Have you got my card, yeah? Baba Sritis. Baba Wow, look at this. Electronic cigarettes. Topo Centras. Topo Centras. I wonder what that is. Looks like her technology. Cortella, Cortella. Achu, Achu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Achu, we forgot all. Get us on us. All right, so Sam's got her chocolate thingy. We'll show you that in a minute. And uh, I've got my alus. And I've never tried Sviturdis before. Sviturdis before. So uh, I will try it. What, what did you get, Sam? Some sort of... Looks like poppy seeds, I guess. No, it's chocolate. Oh, it's chocolate. I thought it was poppy seeds. No, it's chocolate. Chocolate and, uh, and more chocolate. Yeah, nice. nice. I shall try some of this uh, alus shortly. I don't know how you are allowed to drink in public. I'll have to uh, have to find out. Um... Have to find out from someone. Uh, see if there's anyone around. Young, younger is better. If you find someone younger, there's a slight chance they're going to be able to speak English. Ah, oh, here we go. There's some people over here. I wonder if they'll let me uh, ask them. Because <laughs> uh, what I don't want to do is start drinking and then get in trouble because it's illegal or something. Oh, I don't think I'm going to reach them in time. <laughs> ah, here we go. There's some people over here. Yeah, um, are you scalbert at English? Yeah, yes. is it is it legal? Are you allowed to drink alcohol on the streets in Lithuania? I've got this um, Svitur. Is how do you say that? This is in Svitur, so yeah, it's a beer. The beer, I wanted to try it, but I don't know it. Like, are you allowed to drink on the streets in Lithuania? It's not common, but uh, you won't get arrested. Yeah, so you won't get in trouble, but like, if yeah, I start, unless, unless it's in like public areas like parks where kids or children yeah. are. Oh, around. sorry, like I couldn't but, go there and start yeah. drinking the beer, okay? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, if there's okay. not, not many people, it's okay, especially if there's like older people. Oh, okay. Like, children, no. But then it's a different situation. Considering, yeah, consider no. In the UK, it's strange because we're allowed to, but it's the same thing. Like if you people were like, why are you drinking in the streets for? Yep. So I, the rules are different because I went to Croatia and in Croatia I was drinking. It turned out to be illegal. I was like, yeah, I'm so sorry. Each country has its own. I know, I have to keep, I have to keep asking people, but it's okay, it's thank okay. you so much. Is this place called Konas or Kaunas? Yes. Konas. I've been asking a few people because like the pronunciation is different. Yeah, it depends where they come from. 
Ah, right. And is Vilna, is it Vilnius or Vilnius? Vilnius. Vilnius, I knew it. I kept saying Vilnius. And then my friends back at home from Lithuania were like laughing, like completely laughing at me. I was like, what's so I funny? It really depends on where you come from. If you yeah. come from a region where they have a bit of a quirky language, which is Lithuania, but they have your own, you know, accent. Are, are you guys from Kaunas? Uh, yeah. Yes. What's it like here? Uh, what's it like living here? Is it good? Great. Really, is it? Is it expensive to live here or is it cheap? Because I've been looking around the stores and like the prices are actually quite high. They're, they're getting higher currently but due to inflation. So it's getting uh, more expensive. But considering the prices, let's say in Netherlands, where uh, we're living in a one room apartment is like four well, above. Have you, above, have you been to the Netherlands cheaper. before? Huh? Have you been to the Netherlands before? No, but I'm interested in... Oh, I was going to say, my family are from the Netherlands, my dad's side. Because I'm English, but my dad's side is from the Netherlands. Right. Wow, so cool. Yeah, because I, I, when I came, I was like, assuming that everything would be really cheap. and But it was kind of similar to the UK prices. I was like, a little bit confused. Yeah, it's due to inflation. Right? Inflation like is causing it. the past couple of years, the prices have been going up very rapidly. But overall, it's much cheaper than most countries so far. Ah. Um, at least for the... I, I'd say accommodation and maybe general finances or visa is not necessary and all that. It's cheaper to live here, but um, it's still you still need to have like a budget. I mean, yeah, you know, absolutely. Or drinks or something. For real, I've spent three hundred euros in four days. Right. Three hundred euros. I went to Vilnius. I've been to Trakai. Yeah, Vilnius is expensive. Expensive man. Vilnius like I was is like, much cheaper. I was like, bro, like for real? It's like five five euros for a pint of beer. I was like, couldn't believe it. Yeah, if you, if, you, if you go to like uh, bars or restaurants, yeah, they're gonna charge you much more for the drinks. But if you go to like general stores, it's gonna be uh, much cheaper. That's why I bought the Alus from the store this time yeah, and not it's, from. It's the same with pretty much everything. If you go, for example, to a bookstore, the book is gonna be much more expensive than the general store. Ah, that's a good point. That's yeah, so, so that, true. That's what you have to look, look out for when you go to prices. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you teaching me about Lithuania. I'm like. I'm fascinated by your country, it's so beautiful, but I just don't know really much about it. But I've been trying to practice the language as well, and I, literally one of the most difficult languages I've ever tried to learn. Yes. Yeah. Well, this is what I know so far. So, so far I know Labas Vritis, um, Laba Diana, Laba Diana, um, Labas Varkaras, Atsi Prasha Vash Nikalabu Lietu Vishke, Argalu. So are you scalbata English K? Argolu at his ketite cortella, um Norichu Usisakete Vienna Olus. But for some reason my friend said to me, don't say please afterwards, because I kept wanting to say um Prasho. Yeah. But she said, we don't yeah, really say please. Like really? Like, Why? Not, In the UK if we if we don't say please, people get really angry. You see it's a formality <laughs> difference. And here we try to speak straightforward and usually informally unless you're speaking to el elderly yes but in uk uh, I've, i have some friends that are also from uk or i've met some people from uk and they always say like can you class me that please and yeah like, exactly yeah. so i keep wanting we to say please because we know the background but yeah yeah we don't, we can, like, but it's a bit unusual so i've been going around just not saying please and i'm thinking to myself does everyone think i'm like a rude british guy or like uh, <laughs> i just didn't it. know you know i started getting worried but i think that's crazy the of the people will tell you uh, if it's if it's you know not not nice or it's a bit more common anything, you awesome well it was so lovely to meet you both and thank you so much for your time today you have a both a great day gracias thank you take care wow what lovely people see Lithuania is full of lovely lovely people who are happy to spare their time to explain to you about their culture and thankfully it is okay to drink alus just uh, maybe a bit odd that I do so, but I will find somewhere quiet to uh, try this so I don't confuse too many people. But yeah, as you heard back there, so when I was trying to learn Lithuanian, uh, one thing I noticed, or one thing my friend told me, Yogita, say thank you Yogita for explaining this to me, is that saying please at the end of a sentence is actually not very common here because you'd only really say please when you're asking someone to do something for you. So if I'm purchasing something from a store, I'm not really asking them to do something for me. I'm buying something, so I don't need to say please. But if I drop something and I say, can you pick it up for me, please? That's a bit more common to say it. So interesting to know about the culture there, but this is what I mean. Like Lithuania is full of wonderful, wonderful people. So friendly, so kind, 
and the English, you've got to admit, Tam, fantastic English, isn't it? Really, really good. And the fact I stopped these two ladies in the street to chat to them, and they were probably on their way to do something, <laughs> and they stopped and spoke to me and explained the culture to me um, and humorized my terrible Lithuanian pronunciation was uh, <laughs> a little way she's like, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> not quite right, but it'll work. <laughs> Which is great actually, because Lithuanian language is not a uh, tonal language. So you don't have to get it completely right for people to understand you. But uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, find somewhere quiet to drink my beer and uh, let's give you a review on Svit. Let me find what it's called, hang on. Give you a review on Svituris. Svituris beer or Alus as it's called in Lithuania. So let's go. All right, guys. So I sat in a random, like in front of a, 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 a stream, I guess. And uh, I've got my Svituris. Uh, I will go with that. And it's traditionist, so it's got to be traditional. And uh, it's 6%, so hopefully it don't knock me out because I've got a ride home later in the uh, in the airplane but I keep seeing this everywhere that was just the head sorry that's not the review and uh, it feels a bit weird sitting <laughs> drinking in a park in Lithuania but here we go let's see what it's like whoa my word that is strong Lithuania whoo you guys are made of summer else. As weak British people, <laughs> we have all horse piss compared to you guys. What is it like 4.3% in the UK for a pint? 6% you guys are rocking down. So what's the taste like? Let's actually like review it now. And it's strong. <sighs> it's hard to explain. It's just very, very powerful. It's Almost like quite a, I want to say a dark beer. Uh, I can't really see the colour of it. Is it a dark, I don't want to go around pouring beer on the floor. Is it a dark beer? Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's quite a, quite a darkish colour. If you look there, I don't know, well, it's quite light as well. It's just got a very, very kind of intense, strong alcohol flavour. And it tastes quite like a dark, malty kind of beer. I'm not sure how it's brewed or made. Ish. Pusilitas. What does that mean? <laughs> Who knows? I saw a police car go past earlier. I was a little bit like sweating bullets. I was like, the, you know, the ladies over there said it's kosher, it's all right. There's no kids here. Look, guys, I don't lie to you. No kids about. Yeah, I mean, so I'm not drinking in the park with children around. There's no old people. There's just a bunch of crows in Lithuania are massive. Your crows are walking around like this, like, Ugh. I thought I was gonna, it was gonna rob me. Massive. Your crows are huge. I was walking towards this bench, there was a crow on it. I was thinking, actually, mate, I might not, I might have to keep walking. It was quite intimidating. But yeah, that's nice. You can get that in the UK, but I've never tried it. Um, but that is, it's a bit of a kicker. Do you want to try a bit, Tam? No, she's like, no. She's got to drive later. She's got to, we've got to drive home. So we're going to go to, uh, back to the UK. And then we've got, uh, we'll get there, what, about two in the morning? Yeah, our flight is um, at 10 to 1 early hours tomorrow morning. Yep. So we're going to get to the airport for about half 10 tonight. Half, half 10 tonight for the airport. Because um, obviously I like to be there a couple of hours beforehand, you know, just to be on the safe side. Um, oh, yeah. Give that There's that this line. as well, yeah. So here's the review of the Pepsi Blue. I've not seen this before. You know what, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to make of your face, whether it's. So my, my Lithuanian brothers and sisters ain't gonna, maybe ain't going to know this, but there's something in the UK called Panda Pop, and you get a uh, a bubblegum flavour. It's like a, it's like, it tastes like a bubblegum flavoured drink. I'll let Tam try. You always sniff food first or drink. I never get that. I just go straight in. Tastes like blue panda pop or like a blue bubblegum drink, but just not as bubblegummy, doesn't it? Um, 
one hundred years later. Electric, you know. You take ages to review things. I just drink it like, yep, it's all right. <laughs> you were like really savouring the flavour. Blue electric. I'll take that back in a minute. Um, thank you, my love. Right, so right, back to me for a second. So, yeah, give it a go, guys. You can find it in the UK. I don't know if you can find it in other countries, but yeah. So that about does it for our little mini tour of Lithuanian life. And we've learned quite a bit today. So we've learned that you know food prices are going higher because of inflation. We've heard that the younger generation, well, we, we've learned that the younger gen generation speak English quite well. Um, we've learned that a little bit of Lithuanian goes a far, you know, a long way to, you know, you've got to break those boundaries. You've got to make a, you got to make, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? You've got to, you got to try, you got to make an effort, that's what I'm looking for. you got to make an effort and try and learn some of the language. It's difficult, but just practice, practice, give it a go, you know what I mean? Because it really does help break down barriers. Another thing we've learned is that the Lithuanian people are absolutely incredible. I mean, I've been to several European countries recently, and out of all of them, the Lithuanians, and probably the Polish, are the friendliest. Mm. Absolute legends, the Lithuanians and the Polish. So this whole thing about, you know, Central and Eastern and Northern Europe and the Baltic parts of Europe as well, being unfriendly, that's a load of rubbish. We're in the Absolute Baltic part, We're in the we? Baltic part now. Just to remind you, Poland is in Central Europe. So if any of our Polish brethren are watching, Central Europe all the way, big mm. up. And uh, it's funny actually, we are talking a moment ago and me and Tammy realised something quite funny. So as I mentioned to those two ladies back there, my grandma on my dad's side is from Holland, big up Gerda. And um, my dad's dad is from Ireland, hence the surname McGrath. And then my mum's dad was born in Dundee in Scotland. So that makes me like a quarter English. <laughs> I'm less English than everybody. So uh, I'm truly an amalgamation of different cultures and nations I am, which is quite strange. Which is why I'm so fascinated to learn about other people's cultures and try and understand them better. Because in essence, really, we are all a blend of everything, aren't we? You know, but um, Lithuania has been such a fantastic country to us. For the whole trip, it's just been great. It's been fun, good beer, good food and just good people all the way so I've enjoyed every step of it and uh, what a place to end in uh, Konas and finally understand the pronunciation as well so we're going to uh, unfortunately depart Lithuania but we will be back we're planning to visit Klaipeda, Palanga and uh, Druskinikai Druskinikai let's go with that um, so join us and we're back in Lithuania again and do stick by for some more of our videos if you're interested in learning more about everyday life we prefer to do this we prefer to get away from the tourist trails and learn about the people of, and the cultures where we're visiting so do join us if that interests you but um yeah just want to say thank you so much for watching we hope you've enjoyed you know our adventures through uh, Lithuania we hope you've learned a little bit about the Lithuanian people with us and uh hopefully you'll go and grab a Shvituris as well if you ever get a chance so thank you people have a great day from Team McGrath we shall see you very soon